So I'm going to look at the free upgrade from Windows 7 OEM or Windows 8.x OEM to Windows 10 Redstone 2, also known as version 1703 or build 15063. With Windows 10 Redstone 1, Microsoft released an annoying update which asked for a Windows 10 only product key. I'm glad to say they have now removed this annoying update and the free upgrade continues. There is one critical flaw with the Windows 7 to Windows 10 upgrade. If you're using an English UK install, then Microsoft will assume that you're using English US and automatically upgrade you to English US. So you'll need to create installation media for another PC and then uncheck the recommended options. This will then allow you to select English United Kingdom and then you can download the ISO and save it to your desktop. Then you can use a utility like 7-zip to right click it and extract it. And in the extracted folder run the setup.exe instead of initiating the upgrade install directly. So this step is just a check to ensure that the system isn't a Windows 10 Pro device, i.e. it has never had an activated Windows 10 Pro install and is not registered with a Microsoft product activation server already. So I've installed Windows 10 Pro without the product key. And now I'm just going to look at the system information. So we know it's got Windows 10 Pro installed and we know it's got the Linus build and we know it's a Dell Optiplex 7010. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to settings and at the bottom I should see that there is a watermark saying that Windows is not activated. So as I mentioned it's not a Windows 10 Pro device as it hasn't been upgraded from an earlier version of Windows and it hasn't been clean installed with a product key. So now I've clean installed Windows 7. So I can go to computer, right click it and select properties and see that the product ID contains OEM 899, which means it's activated with OEM system locked pre-installation. And I can double check this using read write everything. And I can go to access ACPI tables and then highlight the SLIC table and then scroll down and I should see that my system locked installation certificate is version 2.1 meaning the system is eligible for OEM system locked pre-installation. So we can look at MS Info 32 again just to ensure that it's the same system. And we can see that it is, it's the Dell Optiplex 7010. And now we can look at the upgrade install. So what we're going to do is we're just going to search for download Windows 10 ISO. And this should take us to the Windows 10 media creation tool download page. So we can have a look at the information here and it's a bit vague. You have a license to install Windows 10 and are upgrading this PC from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. It doesn't mention whether the Windows 7 or Windows 8 OEM licenses work with Windows 10. What they do and I will prove it now. So I'm just going to download the tool and I'm going to look at the properties and then I'm going to look at the details. So I see it's version 15,063, which means it's Redstone 2. So I'm just going to launch the Windows 10 Redstone 2 media creation tool. And I'm just going to select accept. And in this test, I'm just going to select upgrade this PC now 
and then select next. So ideally, Microsoft should have patched the Windows 10 media creation tool to ask if one wants to install English UK or English US. Now I've got UK settings for my Windows 7 installation. So I've got the UK date format, the UK regional settings, the UK location, and the UK keyboard. So the media creation tool has downloaded the Windows 10 setup files and now it's creating Windows 10 media. It was after the creation of Windows 10 media that the Windows 10 Redstone 1 with the update asked for the Windows 10 only product key. Essentially there was a stage checking for updates and the update it downloaded was the update that asked for the Windows 10 only product key. In this case you can see that it's checked for updates and I don't get the screen for a Windows 10 only product key. I instead get taken straight to the license agreement screen which I can accept. And now the Windows 10 setup will check for updates and once it's got all the updates, I can select next and begin the upgrade install to Windows 10, Redstone 2. So it's going to ask me whether I want to keep my own files. And in this case, just for this test, I'm going to select yes. Even though the only old file on this PC will be the actual Windows 10 media creation tool itself. So I can select change what to keep here, but I'm just going to select OK. And now it's just a case of waiting for Windows 10 to install. Then the PC will restart. And then I'll get the screen working on updates. And as it says, this will take a while. So we'll restart again and it will continue. And restart again and it will continue. And then I'll be at the Welcome to Windows 10 screen. Then you'll have the privacy settings, which you can customize. I'm just going to go with the defaults and then I'm going to select next. And you'll notice that Microsoft have spelled finalizing wrong because they've installed English US. So if you've got a password, you'll be prompted to log in. If you don't, like in the case of my install, you'll automatically be logged in and the Windows setup will finish. So you'll see that I'm also plagued with English US time and date formats because Microsoft have installed English US and not English UK even though all my settings were for English UK. So now let's look at the system information for this PC. So I'm going to press Windows and R and type in msinfo32 and then I'm going to press enter. So what I want to check is that I've got Windows 10 Pro installed, I've got the build version 15063, that is the same Dell Optiplex 7010. The BIOS mode is legacy because the Windows 7 install was legacy as well. And the secure boot state is unsupported because secure boot cannot be enabled with a legacy boot. Changing the boot mode to UEFI and enabling secure boot where they're supported is the subject of another tutorial video of mine. Okay, so let's close down system information, right click the start button and go to settings. Let's scroll down and we'll see that the activation watermark is gone. So we can once again select update and security and we can go to activation and this time we see that Windows 10 Pro is activated. 
So the free upgrade continues and no additional tricks are required to obtain it.